Hi, welcome to Kyung's Kitchen. 안녕하세요. Thank you for watching. I am very excited to share brand new recipe that law inspired me called Kyung's Butter. Of course, it's a totally vegan and plant-based. It's really, really simple. So let's go and start. First, you need a one tablespoon chickpea flour. Now we are going to cook this one. One tablespoon chickpea flour. Do you know the chickpea? Chickpea flour is very high in nutrition. It contains rich in uh, fiber and protein, iron, calcium, potassium, and B vitamins, magnesium, and selenium. Very high in antioxidant, which is will fight for cancer, and uh, anti-inflammatory. If you are suffering from the arthritis pain, use some chickpea flowers. Also wonderful for bone and muscle and skin, and wonderful for diabetes and lower blood pressure and lower cholesterol. Okay, next one you will need a half cup water. And we are going to turn the fire on. Yeah. And you're going to mix it. Mix well. The, the reason the low inspired me that chickpea flowers has kind of a butter flavor. And also the color. And you know, butter has kind of creamy color. So it works really good. Then most of the vegan butter, they are using a blender. And one time I did it with a blender and it was mess to clean it. So I've been thinking about how to make a vegan butter without using a blender. And God just inspired me this one. So you need to cook this one until it thickens. So it takes about about two minutes. So what I will do, I will come back, then I will continue how to make a vegan butter. So don't go away. Welcome back. Now chickpea is all cooked, chickpea flowers. So after you're done, it kind of a uh, this kind of a consistency, then you're going to put it in the mixing bowl. Take it all out. I was very impressed about this recipe. I really enjoy using it. Okay. After that, you will need a half cup coconut oil. And put this in your microwave for 35 seconds. Then it will be liquefied. Then you're going to add this one to here. Take every try. Then next, you will need a half teaspoon salt. I'm using a Himalaya pink salt. And one teaspoon nutritionally yeast flake, which is as a more color and plus as some flavor. First recipe I did at home, I'd add about one teaspoon garlic powder. <laughs> then I can now use it for my cookie. So, so I just did it there. Mix it really good. And while I'm mixing it, I'm sure with the coconut oil, what God put in the coconut oil for us. It's very high in antioxidant. Also vitamin E. And uh, it's a high in saturated fat, but it's not like an animal fat. Actually, it will decrease your bad cholesterol and increase your good cholesterol when you use coconut oil. And good for Alzheimer's diseases. A lot of people are suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Also, and when you have a stomach problem or pancreatic intestinal problems, please 
make some Kyung's butter. Look at that. Take some time to mix like I do, about 30 seconds. This one is not ready. You're going to put this in the uh, refrigerator for about set it like a uh, butter consistency. Usually takes about a few hours. So I'm going to show you finish product. It's like that. <laughs> I have to taste it. It was so good. See that how firm it is? Then I will show you what you can do with it. And I bake some potato for you. And I will show you how well it is melting it. So scoop it out. Put some hot baked potato. Mm. My husband loves potato, baked potato, especially. Look at that. See that? How melt it is. Then if you like some, put it on biscuit or toast. Mm, mm, mm. Yum, yum. I just love this butter. You know, uh, vegan butter, commercial vegan butter, they're getting very expensive. So if you can make some at home, you will save a lot of money. And this one, you can keep it in the refrigerator for about five days. So, if it's going to be too much for you to finish, freeze some. You can keep half in the refrigerator. Then you can freeze some and when you're ready, you can just start it up. Use it. God is so good. You know how simple it is to make a delicious, healthy, vegan butter. So, if you like to have a rich recipe, click the show more below the video. And we will share the written recipe in the last screen. <laughs> and also, we will have a close-up photo that you can look at. So, how it look. And uh, thank you for always watching my program. And thank you for your encouraging comments. You know, they really encourage me to continue take the cooking show for you. So, if you are blessed, just drop a few lines to encourage me. Okay, see you on the next program. May God richly bless you. Mm -hmm.